Right now at 5.30, the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office announcing arrest today in a racketeering ring bus. Authorities announcing charges against more than a dozen people here in Florida and in Georgia today. Local 10's Leanne Morty Home. It's a developing story, Leanne. And investigators called this Operation Full Load. Tonight, 14 people are facing racketeering charges and or conspiracy to commit racketeering charges. And right now, you're about to hear how a Facebook post precipitated the end of this criminal operation. They banded together to efficiently steal whatever they could. The state attorney's office revealing details tonight of a large scale cargo theft ring. Announcing the charging of 14 local individuals. Investigators recovering at least $2.2 million worth of stolen property. Thieves targeting tractor trailers with anything from cars and tires to electronics inside. These men were uh, trying to get whatever they could lay their hands on. The red dots on this map showing the spots where cargo was stolen. These individuals would sniff out parked cargo trailers and industrial through parks. They hunted park tractor trailers. Marcos Gonzalez Bernal and Alexis Simon Quintero were the alleged ringleaders who scouted out potential targets. Investigators say they would send one or more of the people shown in this middle road to execute the crime. The bottom four allegedly then sold the stolen loot to chop shops or other people or sometimes kept it for themselves. These are very serious criminal charges carrying very severe penalties. They say the case blew wide open after a trucker had his tractor trailer stolen and posted about it on Facebook. Someone saw the post and later spotted the truck on the street, leading police to the operation. They recovered the tractor. It still had the trailer attached to it, but the automobile cargo was stolen. Take a good look at the names and photos of these four people. Police say they're still at large. They have ties to uh, of Miami, to South Florida, specifically to the uh, Hialeah region. And anyone with information on the whereabouts of those four people is urged to give police a call. For now, we're live in the city of Miami. Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.